If you're looking to step up your audio and YouTube videos and your voiceover work on projects at a very affordable price, well then stay tuned because this video here, it's for you. What's up guys, broadcasting live from my living room couch. My name is Matt Zeffi and welcome to my review of the NT-USB. Please excuse the massive scratch on my face. Apparently still incapable of shaving. That's really besides the point. This video is about this thing, this awesome Rode NT-USB mic. And I have to say right off the bat, I love this thing. If you're looking for something really too critical, this video, you're probably not gonna like it because I don't have that many cons on this. But, Stay tuned anyways, because there are a couple things that I do want to point out. But before we get started, I want to invite you to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. Perfect time to get subscribed. We have so much content coming, super stoked about it, and you should be too. So hit that subscribe button and let's get it popping. This video is not going to be a very technical video. I'm not an audio Philly, um, so I'm not going to be really talking about audio Philly things. Honestly, I'm not even like a huge fan of audio, I don't find it fun at all. So I can appreciate how important audio is, I always have really, but I can't say I'm that enthusiastic about audio. Nonetheless, here are my initial thoughts of the Rode NT-USB. Honestly, this thing is a beast. I'm not gonna dish out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on this thing, because I'm not like a voiceover artist at heart. I like to think that I kind of am decent at it, but that's not really my career, nor am I a rapper, although, Sometimes this thing really makes me feel that way. So I've been using this thing a ton for the past six months that I've had it. I've been using it on podcasts, a ton of different videos, and especially voiceover work that I've been doing for different projects. Dear A6300, I just wanted to say thank you. Jumping into the pros of this thing, I know I said it before, but it's very affordable. It comes in at around $150, I believe it's somewhere in that ballpark. I won it on eBay and I got it for a very good price. I suggest you look into doing the same. Number two, this thing is extremely easy to use. I was considering doing an XLR setup with like a Zoom or something, but a USB, you know, it's just, it's plug and play really. It's so easy. I use it with Audition sometimes. And yeah, I have to tweak the input settings, but really other than that, there's not much to it. My third pro of this thing is you can actually hook it up to your phone. I was skeptical at first. I sometimes feel like maybe they don't have as good of amps, if that's what they use. Maybe they aren't as good at recording onto your phone. It's it auto levels for me, so that's another red flag in um, for audio fillies. But once again, I'm not an audio filly. And honestly, I've gotten some incredible results just from using the voice recorder on my Samsung Galaxy with this Rode. The trouble that I have with using this thing with my computer is that my computer fan always turns on while I'm recording, hard drives, other fan noise, just noise in general. But I do think this does a fantastic job with my phone and it makes it so portable that I could just really use it anywhere for podcasts and go around with it. But it isn't all sunshine and rainbows for this thing. When I first got it, it came with this extremely long, I think USB-B is what it's called. You kind of need a really long USB cord if you're going to be running it into your computer because your computer's fan noise is gonna crank on, so you wanna have your fan on your computer very far away. But again, that thing broke very quickly, it was disconnecting from my computer often. Another negative of this microphone is actually, I think this stand that it comes with isn't that great. I find that I have to adjust it a lot and I imagine that it's probably gonna break pretty soon. I mean, I had to tighten this so much to actually get it to stay just like that. And I imagine that over time, it's not gonna be as good. That's pretty much all the negatives I have on this thing. It isn't something that's you know, gonna attract a lot of negatives simply because it's such a simple product. But jumping into my do you need it section, the simple answer is it depends. This thing is not for every single scenario. Sometimes you're obviously gonna wanna use a lavalier or even an on-camera microphone like a Video Mic Pro because I'm not really in environments like this where I could just set this up 
and it can be in shot. If you are like 75% serious about like doing any kind of voiceover work or just improving your audio quality, I would recommend investing in a, a microphone like this. If you dig ease of use, this is your best friend. You might wanna choose this over an XLR mic because you could just hook it up right to your phone and it'll auto level. So everyone, that wraps up my review of the NT-USB from Rode. Great microphone, definitely check it out or give it some thought. I'm going to leave the link in the description down below if you would like to check it out on Amazon. It's actually an affiliate link, so we do get a commission based off of it. Um, has no effect on the price, but it does help to keep the channel moving forward, which is always appreciated. Thank you so much for tuning in. Much more videos to come. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and have a wonderful day.